Hello, hello. Are we live? Okay, we're back. So, I used up all my memory. Who knows how much virtual memory I used. It got to 16 gigabytes and then it just kept going. I don't know how much that memory leak eventually consumed, but after 16 minutes, it did finish running. Uh, I, I tried to kill it before it finished running, but like the signal interrupt didn't even go through. That's how locked down my system was. I got a number here. Let's see if that's right. You, you didn't miss anything while the stream crashed. Uh, I, I was just waiting for this to finish running. And then I had to restart OBS because OBS thought it was still running, but the stream wasn't connected. <laughs> Google Chrome has to swap from disk now because everything. Oh, thank God. That was part one. I do not have time for part two. It's like 9.15. I can't be working on this all night. Uh, I got my snack here. I've got to like eat some food and then go to bed. Kind of curious, what is part two, though? Okay, now there's a J. Oh, okay. It's a wild card, though. Yeah, I, I don't have time to do this. <laughs> it, it sounds doable, but like I just do not have the time. And like with that memory leak, running it on the test input would, would be feasible. But like then it's gonna be like another twenty minutes to see if it's right or not. And it's gonna take longer than twenty minutes to implement too, because you you can't just treat the Joker like a new normal card. You have to do the math to figure out if you if you transform the Joker to some other card, which other card will give you the optimal hand. So I don't have time to implement that and run this for 20 minutes. Yeah, that's going to be it. Uh, I, I guess I should commit my code. Yeah, I'll, I'll commit my code quickly. Oh, one thing that I was thinking about, I also don't have time to do this. You could inline these functions. So count EQ. Sorry for talking with a mouthful of food. Mm. No. I was going to say you could inline these functions if count EQ is only used once, but count EQ is used six seven times. So I'm, I am not copying and pasting that seven times. But the memory leak is because of arrays which get copied in and copied out, and even though they go out of scope, they don't get deallocated by the interpreter. So they just get reallocated over and over again every time you call the function. And these functions get called a million times, or at least 500,000 times when you're calling uh, when bubble sort is doing 500,000 to a million comparison operations between pairs of hands. But, like, potentially you could work around some of these memory leaks by inlining these functions so that they're not actually separate functions with local variables that have arrays that don't get deallocated. Anyway, I I'm just going to put in a comment and then commit this. Uh, arrays and potentially strings. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure arrays aren't getting deallocated. I'm not so sure about strings. Maybe they both have memory leaks.
Should I make sure the test input still runs? Okay, the test input is still the right answer. And I again, I have no idea how much virtual memory this ended up using because it used up all of my physical memory. I have like six and a half gigabytes used by other things, browsers and OBS and terminals and terminal wrappers and terminal multiplexers. Uh, yeah, so I, I have about 10 gigs available for my, my code here. So it used all of that and then it kept going. Uh, Windows, does it tell me how much virtual memory? It says paged, cached, committed. Uh, maybe some of those numbers would have helped, but the system became unresponsive and task manager wasn't even refreshing. So I have no idea how much virtual memory this used. That's not how you spell. Commit that, push it, and call it a day. I added this and immediately deleted. Why is it showing in the diff? I don't understand why Git works like this. And this is a I'm not even going to scroll through that. I'm just going to commit blindly. And then we can see this on GitHub if my browser will ever load. Yeah, and this was already cached, but now it has to swap from disk. None of this is efficient to begin with. On top of the memory leaks, I'm using bubble sort, which is O N squared, but I cannot do a recursive merge sort because I don't have recursion. Maybe I, I could do an iterative type of more efficient sorting algorithm, but I can't do anything that like calls other functions because every time I call other functions, that's gonna make the memory leak worse if I call it with a big array. So this is the best I can do in my work in progress programming language. Uh, yeah, this is day seven. They're just gonna get harder and worse. So uh, I might have to give up on doing this in Sintran for this year, at least pretty soon. Maybe next year I'll have more features and fewer bugs uh, and I'll do better, but we'll cross that bridge when we get to it. Yeah, that's it for today. Catch you next time.